Okay, we're going to take a look at how to create an, a simple inline style here. And an inline style, style is actually the, the simplest of all the forms of styles that we can use when we're talking about CSS. So I'm going to actually look at this page and we're going to use some, uh, an inline style to modify this heading style here of the simple XHTML page that we have. So I'm going to switch over to my text editor. Okay, here we go. And I'm going to look for, in this code here, I'm going to look for this heading level 1 here, this h1 tag. Now, an inline style is just that. It's in line with the tag. It's in line with the code. There aren't sections of it that are outside of the, those lines. So right here, within this, this uh, opening head, head 1 tag, I'm going to use the style attribute. Just like you would maybe use the href attribute if you're creating a link for an a tag. So we're going to say style equals, okay, and then we're going to put some parens around this statement. If I want to affect maybe, let's say for instance, I want to make the color of this heading of, of the text here. If I want to make the color, so I'll write color uh, colon, and then I'm going to use a hexadecimal color. So make sure you get your uh, pound sign in there. Pound, and I'm going to say CC0000, and that's a typical red color. Okay, now at the end of that statement, after I've defined that property for color, I need to kind of uh, stop that statement, and I'll use a semicolon for that. Now, if I wanted to set another property for this heading, let's say for instance I wanted to change the font, I can actually say font family colon, and then whatever font I want this to be, and I'm going to choose um, Verdana, and then I'm going to also end that statement with a semicolon, and complete it with my quotes. So here I've got an H1 that I use the style attribute, because this is an inline style, so inline style uses a style attribute. So style equals, and then whatever properties I want to set. So I'm setting the color property, font family property, and there are a lot of other properties to set. So here's a great example. I'm going to save this page, and now I'm just going to switch back over to my uh, page open in my browser and refresh this. And we can see, yes, it changed that heading level to be a different font and to be a different color. So great, that's an easy example of how to use an inline style.